Hello there and welcome to Fairyland Cottage. Welcome back everybody. It is wonderful to be saying hello on this rainy, cold autumn day here in Ireland. I cannot believe it's been four seasons since we've been chatting. So although everything here in Fairyland has been relatively staying the same, of course a lot has changed new little addition to the family. And I wanted to catch up with you all, see how we were all doing, share little changes and things that have been going on over the year. We still have similar routines, but little compromises have been made here and there. What I found with having a baby and it being such a huge change in life, that I've needed to give myself more nourishment, more care, more time. Everything seems to move really fast. So I found myself wanting to slow down even more. I found myself that I need more time to actually slow down. It doesn't come as easy as it did before. Some things like making soda bread never change. And I find that these little familiarities help me to ground myself. We're in the season of berries, so we've got a lot of jams that our neighbour makes for us. I found with having a baby, a lot of the making of different things goes out the window. Of course, my priorities have changed. I found all the change overwhelming, as I'm sure most of us would find such a massive change. So what I found is that I've made changes very gradually. I didn't buy a lot of paraphernalia for the baby. I've kept it really simple. And I'm sure that will benefit her, but also it just keeps me from getting very nervous or anxious. I'm washing more clothes. That's just a very basic, practical thing. Spending a lot of time resting, feeding. Trying to really soak up all those little precious moments. So many people will give you advice before you have a child and what I really learned is that nothing really can prepare you. You don't know how you're going to react. You don't know how you're going to be when this little human comes along. So I'm doing my best to soak up the moments. Be here and have fun. Enjoy the process because everyone does say that the first year flies by and it really, really has. There's been so many changes every minute of the day. So I'm grateful that I live in a forest and I have wonderful friends and families around that are such a huge support. Over the years when we talk about having community and the support that we need with one another, well, nothing 
explains that more like when you have a child. You need community more than ever. There's nothing worse than being isolated. So I found that I'm getting out more. I'm seeing more of my friends. I'm doing more things. You want to meet more mothers. I've also found a new inspiration to explore the natural world. The little one is seeing everything for the first time. And so it brings this newness, richness to everything. We found a beautiful row of oak trees near the house. And can you believe that I never fully noticed them before? There must be over a dozen of them. So I'm learning new things, I'm finding new things that were right there on my doorstep and I never realized. So coming autumn, usually every year, I'll do a lot of foraging, a lot of collecting. This year, everything's changed slightly. The foraging has gotten less. I'll do it in just small amounts. I want to share different things with my little child. So I just do a little exploring. Everything is on a lesser or smaller degree, but yet there's so much more quality to it all. Everything seems very sacred and special. Now we don't need a child to come into our life to actually live like that. But that's what I found over the year. I'm finding the world changing externally, hugely changing. And so the way I deal with it is I focus on my internal world, keep it very simple, very slow, grounded. Routine has been such a precious gift. Having a walk every day, Having some vegetables every day. It's giving myself nourishing food. There's physical changes in the house. We had to get a bigger bed because we're co-sleeping. We had to put the bed near the floor. All these little things. And then it's learning how to look after a little human when you've never looked after one before. I'm finding that I'm just going with her little rhythm, trying to see her cues, when she needs to sleep, when she needs to feed. It's given me a new respect for mothers out there and for my own mother. I really don't know how mothers do it, especially when you have more than one child. I'm in complete awe. When the little one's asleep, I'll fix all the cloth nappies, do little tidies around the house. I've noticed how much you need to give yourself rest. I love the little routine, putting the little boosters in the nappies. 
I started very slowly doing the cloth nappies. I didn't start till six months. I've gone very easy on myself in relation to waste and sustainability. All in its own good time. You have to know in life what you're able to do. Where's your baseline? That's what I found really important for me. Not pushing myself, not saying anything that I should be doing. What I'm doing is okay. I'm doing my best with the tools I have. And that's enough. And then when I get to a different place, I'll change. In Ireland now, autumn is in full swing. It's lashing rain here today. But when we filmed this video last week, the sun was shining. We spent a lot of time at the beach, hanging up little clothes outside, eating outside and just soaking up those last little bit of sun before all the rain comes. I'd love to know from you all how you have been over the four seasons. How has it been for you? How has the change been? What have you noticed about yourself over the year? I've noticed a lot of things that have come up that I've needed to heal. To be a little bit kinder to myself. I'm still soaking a lot of lentils, chickpeas, beans. That never seems to change. I've had to become more accepting of myself. I can't do everything, of course, that I used to do before, and that's okay. I'm embracing these new ways of living. And with the world changing so much outside, with all the suffering that's going on around, I'm focusing on my family, small little routines, collecting the veg every day for that day. It's actually been a really good summer this year for growing vegetables. Because of looking after a little human, I haven't been doing as much in the garden and yet it's still producing loads. So I learned the lesson of we don't always need to do so much, but less is more. Other things like the flowers, because I wasn't weeding as much, we don't seem to have as many flowers as we did other years. The weeds took over a little bit. So there's clearing that needs to be done. A friend was telling me recently about when she had her children how your consciousness changes. You're conscious of them all the time, night and day. Even when you're asleep, you're conscious of them. And I never quite Come understood on. it until now. Come on. I've been trying out so many different meals because of course our little one can't fully eat yet. Similar things to what we're eating. Things like salt and sugar and a few other things I have to be mindful of. So it's making me experiment a little bit more. This is a lentil pizza which I make. And because we've got the vegetables growing in the garden I'm doing as much of trying to use those vegetables every day. 
It helps then that we're living more in what's in season. We've got so many apples and pears at the moment. So I'd say, if anything, I've simplified life even more and yet it might look a little bit more busier than it was. I've stripped away everything. My role as a mother has become what's important to me. And I'm giving myself the space to just be. I would love more than anything to chat to you in the comments. How you've been over the year, good or bad, let's just share with one another. I really feel grateful to be saying hello to you again. It's been wonderful chatting to you here today. So thank you very much for watching. We're going to slowly get back into doing videos and share one about once a month for the time being. Just until we get on our feet again. So I hope you'll join me again soon. I will see you in the comments and anything that was in the video will be down in the description box just for a reference. Lots of love to you all and see you soon.